नमस्कार सो यू कैन सी अ क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड डू यू नो दिस क्वेश्चन इज कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ स्वार्स पिक लेम्मा यस सो लेट्स गो टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द स्टेटमेंट एंड हाउ इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट सो यस here is swar's pick lemma all right so what this lemma says f is analytic on the unit disk delta i mean to say a unit disk means what a disk of radius 1 yes like this all right let's take its radius as 1 so this is your unit disk all right and f is analytic on this then let's uh, come for the condition what are the conditions that mod f of z is less than or equal to 1 for all z belongs to delta this is the first condition and f of a is equals to b for some points a and b in the delta i mean to say if you will take the input from the delta then their f output is also from delta so these are the two conditions so if these things are going to be satisfied i mean to say if your f is analytic in the unit disk delta and mod f of z is less than or equal to 1 for all elements in delta and f is going to map any element of delta to another point of delta then what the things is going to happen yes this will be used in the question mod f dash a is less than or equal to 1 minus mod f of a ka square upon 1 minus mod a square yes this is the thing that should be remembered and you should also remember the condition as well so now let's come to the question okay so in 2011 this question was asked that f from d to d is what holomorphic so holomorphic means what analytic okay and yes this is what unit disk this is your unit disk delta so yes all the conditions you can see all right more thing where what mod f of z is less than or equal to 1 for all z belongs to delta so you can see what if you are going to put any element from z then you are going to get the things less than or equal to 1 so in the question it is given f of 0 is equals to half f of half is equals to 0 so all the conditions for swartz pick lemma is going to be satisfied so now we can easily obtain mod f dash 0 by using the formula over there Mo what was the formula 1 minus mod f of 0 ka square upon 1 minus mod 0 ka square isn't it yes you can see the formula over here and yes we cannot forget to use this inequality mod f dash 0 mod f dash a is less than or equal to 1 minus mod f of a square upon 1 minus mod a square so we will say yes this is the thing so from here you people can easily see it is 1 minus f of 0 is what half so it will become 1 by 4 and upon 1 minus 0 so it will become a what 4 minus 1 so it will become 3 by 4 so hence we are able to see what mod f dash 0 is less than or equal to what 3 by 4 so what shall you say option a is done no problem option a is right now you have to do the same thing for f dash half so how shall you do it certainly let's come here for this okay uh, so from swartz pick lemma f dash half it will become what 1 minus mod f of half ka square and upon 1 minus half ke mod ka square isn't it 1 minus mod f of z ka square yes this is your square 
and 1 minus mod z chi square so isn't it so it will become 1 minus and f of half is what yes f of half is what zero so what shall you say you will not hesitate to say it's zero chi square and upon 1 minus 1 by 4 isn't it yes so it will become a 1 by yes 3 by 4 so it will become what 4 by 3 so you people can say what oh don't forget to use this inequality once again mod f dash z f dash a is less than or equal to now so certainly you should say it should be less than or equal to what 4 by 3 so you people will not hesitate to say that your b is right because in b it is also given that mod f dash half is less than or equal to 4 by 3 so both a and b are true so c is also true because 4.75 so you cannot skip a single option otherwise you will get zero okay so yes option a is right b is right c is right but what about d you can see in the option d it is given f of z is equals to z but here you can see what the two conditions are given f of half is equals to zero which is not equals to half so f of z is equals to z is not satisfied here f of zero is not equals to zero it is some another thing so that's why f of z is equals to z is not necessarily true so your final answer will be what a b c so a b c are your final answer so yes in this uh, second part of okay in the first part we had already seen uh, how the statement of Schwarz lemma was applied in this we had seen how the Schwarz pick lemma has applied but there are some results related to Schwarz lemma or Schwarz pick lemma so in the next video I will come up with some more uh, questions on those results don't forget to check the playlist okay so topic wise CSIR net question discussion is also there a mini playlist is there so once you should check the playlist and see the video accordingly and you may put the topic on which you want to see the video in the comment section okay so we shall meet in the next video till then take care bye bye thank you